dear students uh, this is e content pertaining to the program bachelor of social work of mangalore university first semester uh, the name of the subject is basic sociological concepts and this uh, uh, e content pertains to session number 4 the topic of this session is uh, society meaning and definitions let us begin with the recap of the previous class uh, students understood the importance and uses of sociology in the previous class so i hope all of you remember that in the previous session uh, the importance and uses of sociology was discussed the learning objectives of this session are number 1 to know the etymological derivation of the word society and number 2 to understand the meaning and definitions of society the session outcomes the expected session outcomes of uh, this session are that the students understand the etymological derivation of the word society students understand the meaning of society and students understand a few definitions of society let us come to the etymology of the word society the word society is derived from the latin word socius which means companionship or friendship Now let us have a look at the meaning of society. The term society refers to the complex pattern of the norms of interaction that arise in a group of people. A society is intangible; it is a process rather than a thing, a motion rather than a structure. The important aspect of society is the system of relationships, the patterns of norms of interaction by which the members of the society maintain themselves. so here as you can see it is uh, society basically refers to a very complex pattern of the uh, norms of interaction between the various groups of people and further it is not a tangible concept rather it is an intangible concept so it cannot be seen it cannot be observed it is rather a, it is a process rather than a thing it is a motion rather than a structure the important aspect of society is the uh, system of relationships so Uh, what is important in society is the uh, various uh, different systems of relationships the patterns of uh, norms of interaction by which members of society maintain themselves let us have a look at some of the definitions of society uh, as per macaiver and page society is a system of usages and procedures authority and mutual aid of many groupings and divisions of controls of human behavior and of liberties as per gdm cole society is the complex of organized associations and institutions with the community as per mac iver society is a web of social relationships so let us uh, uh, just analyze these definitions so the simplest definition is given by mac iver so who calls society as a web of social relationships so um, just as a, as a spider weaves uh, its own web so society is also compared to the spider's web uh of uh, of course uh, the web is of different uh, social relationships between human beings now as per gdm coal it is the complex of organized associations and institutions with the community so it includes all uh, organized associations uh, of uh, human beings uh, plus uh, social institutions uh, such as family so all these uh, together constitute uh, society as per macaiver and page it is uh, a system of usages and procedures so this includes all the norms the procedures the culture of the society uh, then the authority so uh, and mutual aid so the system of authority which can be formal or informal and the various systems of mutual aid between different uh, human beings and of many groupings and divisions so these groups are based on different criteria and divisions of society and also certain controls for human behavior uh, so social sanctions uh, the rules regulations which again may be informal or formal and also of uh, human liberties so these are some of the definitions of uh, society let us have a look at some more definitions as per professor giddings society is the union itself the organization the sum of formal relations in which associating individuals are bound together so professor kidding says that society is a union of uh, or an organization or the total some total of uh, formal relationships uh, between different uh, in which the different individuals are um, bound together
also professor right uh, uh, says that society is not a group of people it is a system of relationships that exists between the individuals of the group so again the professor right also says that it is not a tangible concept but it is an intangible concept so it is not a concrete group of people it is rather it is a system of relationships that exists between the members of these groups as per green a society is a larger group to which any individual belongs so this society is uh, a very huge group a very large group to which almost uh, every individual belongs so let us have a look at some more definitions uh, lepier says uh, that uh, the term society refers not to a group of people but to the complex pattern of the norms of interaction that arise among and between them so this is a slight repetition of the earlier definition so society here refers not to a tangible group of people but to the intangible complex pattern of the norms of interaction the relationships between human beings as per leacock society includes not only the political relations by which men are bound together but the whole range of human relations and collective activities so as per leacock it is not only the political relations but also the entire range of human relations and the collective activities of human beings as per harkins society is any permanent or continuing group of men women and children able to carry on independently the process of racial perpetuation and maintenance on their own uh, cultural level so he calls society as a permanent or continuing group of men women children who are able to carry on the process of racial continuation or perpetuation and maintenance of the same on their own uh, cultural level so let us have a look at the summary of this session so it can be uh, summarized as follows uh, the word society is derived from the word socius which means companionship or friendship also the term society refers to the complex pattern of the norms of interaction that arise in a group of people let us have a look at some of the multiple choice questions the word society is derived from the latin word a social b socius c social d social the right answer is b socius the second uh, multiple choice question is a society is dash a an intangible concept b a tangible concept and the right answer is a an intangible concept the third multiple choice question is society is a web of relationships this definition was given by a giddings b lepier c cole d macaiver the right answer is d macaiver the fourth multiple choice question says a society is the larger group to which any individual belongs this definition was given by a giddings b green c cole d macaiver the right answer is b green let us have a look at one more multiple choice question the term society refers not to a group of people but to the complex pattern of the norms of interaction that arise among and between them this definition was given by a lepier b green c cole d macaiver the right answer is a lepier so these are the uh, books that have been referred for the preparation of this session so can please go through these books for a better understanding of the subject thank you